Hello, welcome to another IPC video devotional. It's time with Isaac, your youth director. No matter what has happened in your day or what is going to happen in your day, I'm grateful that you're taking just a couple minutes to sit here with me and think about what God is doing all around us. I'd like to do that through two ways. The first is um, some poetry and some meditation, and the second one is going to be through colors. First for the, the bit of meditative poetry. Um, I think the last couple times I've done a worship service or a video devotional, I've offered some meditations and poetry. First was by Howard Thurman, and then most recently in the Vesper service, my partner Christina and I did a, we wrote our own poetry about the road to Emmaus. And poetry holds a lot of things. It holds a lot of emotions, can hold a lot of space for you to encounter God in a different way and also to encounter yourself in a different way. So I love using different bits of poetry as a devotion. And this time we're going to use one written by the elders of the Hopi Nation. Um, it's a really good poem about change and about sort of a disaster feeling and how you ground yourself again and, and what, what steadies you, what steadies us as a community, how we go back towards, towards each other. So I'm going to share that. I'm also going to share some colors because I spend a lot of my isolation time and my stay-at-home time looking for birds sitting right here, looking out that window. And I really don't know what I'm looking for, but I've really enjoyed seeing different flashes of color as they dart around. And I've put a couple bird feeders right over this window. So if I was any good at taking pictures of moving animals, I would post them, but I'm not. So I've just walked around my apartment and collected a bunch of bits of fabric and all the little colorful things that I've included in my home, and I'm gonna show them to you. So hopefully you get the feel of looking for that flash of color out the window looking at a bird. It won't be the same, but we can imagine. All right, let's do it. Poetry and Colors. By the Elders of the Hopi Nation. We have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour now we must go back and tell the people that this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? No, your garden. It is time to speak your truth, create your community, be good to each other. And do not look outside yourself for the leader. This could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and they will suffer greatly. But no, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore and push off and into the river, keep our eyes open and our head above water. See who is in there with you and celebrate at this time in history, we are taking nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that you do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we have been waiting for.